Hello everyone, so in this video we are going to learn how to add form responses from swipe pages to Google Sheet and send WhatsApp message notification. What we are going to do over here is that you are going to get a form submission of a landing page form that you have created using swipe pages and as soon as that is submitted you collect the data in your Google Sheet and then send a WhatsApp notification with the help of this application interact over here. So we are going to basically integrate these three applications with the help of Pabli Connect and in this auto our trigger will be new from submission from swipe pages. Our first action will be adding new row in Google Sheet and our last action step will be to send template message via Interact. Let us learn how to do that. So let us learn that how you can add the details received from the form submission of the swipe pages in your Google Sheet and then further send them a notification that the registration has been done with the help of Interact on WhatsApp message. So let us quickly sign in into our account so that we will reach this place where I can see all the applications provided by Pabli. And we are going to use Pabli Connect to create this automation. Click on Access Now. That will take me to the dashboard of Pabli Connect. Reaching here, you will be able to see a big blue button on your right side where it is written Create Workflow. Click on the button and give a suitable name to your workflow. I'm going to name it as Add Form Responses from Swipe Pages to Google Sheets and send WhatsApp notification. Click on Create and then a blank workflow will be created for you like you can see on your screen. You will be able to see Trigger and Action, the two major modules of Fably Connect on which the complete automation runs over here. Before that, make sure you open your swipe pages over here and then your Google Sheet where you're going to collect all the data using the form and your Interact, the WhatsApp application, the application that you're going to use to send WhatsApp template message. And one thing more along with that is the form from where the leads will be generated. So this form I have created using swipe pages as you can see right here and I will be integrating this form with Google Sheets. Alright, so let us begin. Like trigger says when this happens and action says do this. Which means that trigger means the first application where the event will take place for the very first time. And then the action application because of that trigger or that event will perform the assigned action. Like here our trigger is going to be swipe pages. Because whenever a customer or a client fills up this form over here then this workflow will be triggered. Alright, so the event here is going to be new form submission. Now when the form submission occurs then the action application first of all we have Google Sheets because we have to collect all the data in Google Sheets over here. So that is the first action that we are going to perform and after that click on this plus button to add one more module to it because we will be sending WhatsApp notification using Interact. Alright, so this is how the workflow will look like. The action event for Interact is send WhatsApp template message. And for Google Sheet is adding new row because I have created the sheet already. See this sheet name is swipe leads and here I have the columns. So the columns are already created. You just have to add a new row to every column over here. So which means let us begin with the workflow. Here trigger when we have chosen the event as new form submission, Pabli Connect provides us with a webhook URL which is basically acting like a bridge between the trigger application and Pabli Connect such as whenever we copy this webhook URL from here and paste it in our integration like connected with this form over here then whenever a form submission is received like this specific form with which we have connected the webhook URL that submission detail will be brought over here as a webhook response. One of the reasons it is called a webhook response because it is brought over here with the help of a webhook URL. Now how to integrate this? You have to follow these instructions given over here. Let us begin. Copy it from here and then go to your landing pages of swipe pages. Now here this is the only form that I have already created. In the instructions you might find to create a form. I have already created a form. Click on these three buttons and edit. Go to this instructions or integrations over here and see there is one already existing webhook which is called new form submission. So rather than creating a confusion over here I will delete this one. And I will add a new one. So scroll down and you will find webhook over here. Click on this webhook. Give it a name. Form submission. Paste the webhook URL that you have copied from the workflow over there. And the type is going to be form submission. Okay. Like whenever the form submission is done, this webhook URL will start working. 
click on continue the http method is given over here as post as you can see from the instructions given and this is optional if there is any header there is no header click on continue these are the fields first name last name mobile and email if you want to add more data then you can edit this one if you agree with this just click on continue and this is done see your integration is complete now you will see that it is waiting for a webhook response over here so let us go to our form and fill in the details now i am filling the already saved details in my account this is the first name last name mobile number and email address given i will submit the form and see the form submission is done when you come here to your workflow you will get the response in 2 3 seconds only and see here is the response first thing we have is the variant id which is the id of your form then the agent and all that is given over here url is given the form name or page name is given here all right the domain is also here the important details are the lead id the mobile number last name first name and email address and by default it gives you the creation date as well so these are the only details we need the details of the person who submitted the form and the lead id all right so since we have received this let us go to our sheet and here we will need a lead id column as well because it is an important one right lead id i am creating this column so that we can keep a record of all the lead ids we are receiving now i will close this module over here and move ahead with the google sheets because we have to add all that data that we have received in the trigger response to our rows over there so here open this module first you have to connect google sheets to pabli connect because the data that you will be filling over here in these rows is saved in your trigger response okay add new connection since google sheets is a google application sign in with your account choose your account and click on allow and here the connection is successful now since it is connected it will show you the list of all the spreadsheets you have in your account all right our spreadsheet name is swipe leads and it is already selected by default if it is not the one you're working upon then you can change it from this menu the sheet is only one and we have the columns over here first name last name email phone number and the lead id as well so let us map the details now why are we mapping when we know that this is the first name why are we not going to type it over here because if we type it then what is the purpose of the workflow right you map it so that every time this trigger response changes and a new person fills up the form then this field will be directly linked to this first name field over here right so that is why we we do the mapping it will ask you to insert data from the previous step so open this drop down menu and map it directly from that field so you are mapping the first name field to the first name field of your google sheet which means whatever whatever information is filled in this field will be brought over here in the google sheet first name field similarly you will map the last name also here then the email address if there is a long list of responses in your trigger application then you can type a little bit of hint in your search and map data and it will straight away take you to the value then you have the mobile number so again i'm going to type over here here we are okay and the lead id so i will map the lead id also this okay even set as request so see our spreadsheet has been updated see how many rows are updated one row columns are five and cells are five which means the work of updating the empty rows is done so here let us close these modules now and go and check here we have the details first name last name email phone number and leads so every time a new form is submitted then it will be automatically filled over here you can check it right now only let us fill a new form now I have filled the form. I'll click on submit and see the form is submitted. All right. So now it is instant. It doesn't take any time. It as soon as it receives the response, it will be filled over here. See, we have it over here. All right. A new lead ID is sent. Now what we are going to do is send a notification to this specific contact number in our workflow to notify them that the registration has been done. All right. For that, we are going to take help from WhatsApp template message. and the application name is interact we have already selected the event click on connect add new connection and you will have to enter the secret key you can find it in the developer settings or you can click on this button which will straight away take you to the developer settings this is the secret key copy it from here and see you can paste it all right click on save and interact is connected to pabli now whatever response we have over here or in the trigger response will be used to fill up the details of the 
whatsapp notification message okay now we will need the country code or the mobile number so whatever form we have the mobile number it depends that which field we are going to fill first of all this is not a required field over here let us see what are the required fields we have to enter the phone number because that is the destination of the message then we have a template code name so in interact what happens is that we have certain templates already created okay for any specific purpose like i have created this template which is called registration it looks like this dear the user's name your registration with email id this is the email id has been successfully received by us we will contact you soon for the further details so this is basically a template designed by, by me and every time a new customer registers then the name and the email id will be changed according to that so i'm going to use this email id and this is the language i have to enter the template code name here in this field the language code like i told you the language over here is english uk the header value if there is any header body variables that what body variables you want to exchange with this curly brackets 1 and 2 over here all right and similarly if do if you have a call to action button like you might have seen on your whatsapp messages you receive messages from companies or organizations and a call or or message option is available under the message over there so like that you can enter these details over here first of all we need the number so number if you have it in which format let's see our number is simple okay we do not have the plus 91 over here so what are we going to do rather than adding plus 91 to here we will add the country code over here this is my country code you can add your country code over here all right now we have entered the phone number now we need the template code name so how do you get the code name over here when you view the template when it comes in the view format then this thing which appears before view and slash is the code name let us go over here and we are in the view format like you can see so this is the code name i'm going to copy it from here and paste it now this is my template code name okay this is the code name i need so paste just the code name not the complete url then the language code so the language code depends on what language you've chosen english uk so here you are given a list see you have the whole list of all the languages whichever language you've chosen you have to enter the detail like this like i have chosen english uk so this is going to be my language code so i will copy from there and paste it right here okay there is no header value because we already have a header this header is fixed over here called welcome customer okay now what we will do is enter the body variables so like this is there hey curly brackets one your order number is this then you have to fill in the details whatever is coming in one comma whatever is coming in two comma if you have more variables over here so like i have the name first of all so i will map the name straight away from here first name space last name and then comma okay and then what the email address okay this is how it is our first variable is the name and the second variable is for the email address so we have given the variables also the cta button position is 0 and 1 if you have one button choose 0 if you have two buttons like more than one then choose one over here but we don't have any buttons i'm going to erase it over here since it is not a required field it can be left empty now since we have filled all the details click on save and send test request here we have the response which means that our message has been sent to this person and this is the email address over here let us go to our whatsapp and check who are we able to receive the message or not here we have the message c welcome customer which was our header then dear the name of the person your registration with email and this is the email address and has been successfully received by us so this is the complete message that we drafted using the template and the name has been changed all right so which means every time a new form is received over here it will be filled in the google sheet and then sent a message using interact because of this template that we have created so this was the whole video i hope this helped not just these applications but you can integrate many other applications using pably connect if you have any issue regarding pably you can email us at support@pably.com you can ask your queries at forum.pably.com and if you have any doubts regarding our pricing then you can connect us through this given website if you found this video helpful in any way then make sure to share this with your friends and colleagues to make their life easier by creating automations we will meet in the next video till then do not forget to like our video and subscribe to our channel thank you